name is Carmelita Jeter, and people know me as the fastest woman alive. Of course, Carmelita Jeter wasn't always the fastest woman alive. I always just ran. It wasn't a technique about it. It wasn't a head nod, an arm, a finger, anything. I was just running. She was good enough to qualify for the Olympic trials after college in 2004, but she had not yet made the leap from good to great. Being at the Olympic trials, seeing these women with the Nike endorsed, the Adidas endorsed, these women were serious, they were focused, and I was looking like, oh, okay. In 2008, she joined coach John Smith, a renowned technician who had refined the skills of elite sprinters. Smith teaches the specific mechanics of sprinting rather than just running. The fall of 08, when she decided that she was going to make a change, she had certain things good, but in sprinting, you have to have a sense of emergency like to move right now. She always felt that she could just let him go and go get him at the end. He was really tough on me. Everything was technical, 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 technical. And I was just like, I can't move my arm right. He definitely, his program is you're either going to learn what I teach you or you're going to leave. It's not easy to make minute changes while taking nearly five steps per second, but Jetter is able to do it, and her times have dropped. Her 100-meter personal best, set in 2009, is second only to the great Florence Griffith Joyner. Last summer, she won her first world championship in the 100 meters and placed second in the 200. The data to back up Smith's philosophy are supplied by biomechanicist Ralph Mann, a former Olympic hurdler who applies engineering principles to make the human body go faster. I kind of like take the scientific data, the complex information, and simplify it. And that's what science does, is pragmatic data that allows us to understand what happened. Through a contract with USA Track and Field, Mann works several times a year with the best U.S. sprinters and hurdlers, creating complex computer models that show each athlete's ideal body position in every phase of a race. Jetter's foot plant is the part Smith and Mann work on the most closely. She tends to overstride, landing with her foot slightly in front of her center of gravity. Her model shows where her foot should land so she can push into the next step with the most power. The models represent a goal, and Jetter's model is often set to run faster than the world record. It's, it's really interesting, you know, when you're sitting there and you're watching yourself and then you're watching a diagram actually on top of you and the diagram is like showing you where you should be and your arm is there and it's, it's really neat. For Jetter, the system is both extremely complex and very simple. If she can run with the model, she can win Olympic gold. The thing that she's improved upon a great deal is, is, is when we train, we train parts we do starts, we do acceleration, we do finishing. She was able to put together a string of pieces together better than her competitors. And you know, John's very technical. He's a technical coach from your toe to your neck to your chin. He wants everything perfect and I admire that, you know, and being with him now since 2008, I can see all the things that he wants and why he wants these things, execution, perfection, winning.